Students, let's take another example to compare fractions and rearrange them in ascending order, that is from smallest to the greatest. Let's take an example, 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 3 by 4 and 1 by 3. As you can see, the numerators and the denominators are different. So we have to first convert them into equivalent fractions with same denominator and then we can compare. So we have to do it step by step. The first step is to find the LCM of the denominators. Let's find the LCM of the denominators 2, 3, 4 and 3 using the division method. We will first divide it by 2. 2 1 times is 2 so write down 1. 3 cannot be divided so just bring down 3. 2 times 2 is 4 write down 2. 3 cannot be divided so just bring down 3. Again we can divide it by 2. Bring down 1. 3 cannot be divided bring down 3. 2 1 times is 2 so now we will write 1 and finally bring down 3. Now let's divide by 3 now. Bring down 1. 3 1 times is 3. So write down 1. Bring down 1. Again 3 1 times is 3. So you will write down 1. Now we have got the LCM of the denominators as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 12. We have to convert the given fractions into equivalent fractions with the denominator 12. The first fraction 1 by 2. 2 multiplied by 6 gives me 12. So we will multiply the numerator and the denominator by 6 to get a equivalent fraction with denominator 12. Similarly 2 by 3. 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. So multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4. 3 by 4. 4 multiplied by 3 gives me 12. So multiply the numerator and denominator by 3. Finally, 1 by 3. 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. So multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4. Now we have got the equivalent fractions. The first equivalent fraction is 6 times 1 is 6. So 6 by 12. 2 into 4 is equal to 8. So 8 by 12. 3 into 3 is 9, so 9 by 12, and the last one, 1 into 4 is 4, hence 4 by 12. Now we have got all the fractions with the denominator 12. Now we can easily compare and arrange them in ascending order. Since the denominators are same, the fraction with a small numerator is a smaller fraction. So 4 by 12 is the smallest fraction followed by 6 by 12, then 8 by 12, and finally 9 by 12 is the biggest fraction. Now we have arranged the like fraction in ascending order from small to big. Now let's finally conclude by writing the answer. 4 by 12 is same as 1 by 3. So the smallest fraction is 1 by 3. The next fraction 6 by 12 is same as 1 by 2. Hence, the next small fraction is 1 by 2. 8 by 12 is same as 2 by 3. Hence, 2 by 3 is the next fraction. And finally, 9 by 12 is same as 3 by 4. Hence, 3 by 4 is the biggest fraction. Now, we have arranged the fractions from small to big. The smallest fraction being 1 by 3 and the greatest fraction is 3 by 4. Students, I hope you have understood this sum. You need to practice more sums or to arrange fractions in ascending order.